Guys, it's here. It's Ready Player One time, but hold up. I'm not wearing the right shirt. Hold up, just give me one moment. All right, let's do this. I only came here to escape, but I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. So Ready Player One is the latest film from a director you guys may know of who is named Steven Spielberg. And the story of Ready Player One takes place in this kind of crappy reality and a way for people to escape from this reality is playing this game called The Oasis, a VR MMO game. But one day when the game's creator played by Mark Raylance dies, he sends a message to all the players saying that he left three keys in the game's world that lead to an easter egg that once a player essentially gets this easter egg not only does he gain control of the oasis but they also gain his half a trillion fortune all right guys so let's get into ready player one so if you guys saw Alex Lucas and I's top five most anticipated films of 2018 you guys will know that this was my most anticipated film of the year I have been so hyped for this movie, it's insane. Not only as a video game fan, not only as a movie fan, but as a Steven Spielberg fan. I grew up watching this guy's movies, so when I found out that he was making a film that pretty much encapsulates movies culture, but also game culture in the same film, I'm there day one. So of course I sat down on my screening, hyped as all can be, and I'm so happy to say that Ready Player One did not disappoint me whatsoever. Now, starting off with acting, everybody does a very good job with the roles. There's no one who's going to win an Oscar for this movie, per se, but everyone does a very good job in the roles, from Ty Sheridan to Olivia Cook. TJ Miller had me laughing. But if you guys are asking me who my standout is, it's Ben Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn stole the show for me, and every scene he was in, I could not get enough of him. Ben Mendelsohn's character essentially is every single video game company that does not care about creators. Um, like, <clears throat> now one of the things that I know a lot of people were worried about, and understandably so, is that this is a film that's based on a book, which by the way, haven't read the book. But the book was basically full of pop culture references from the 80s specifically. But the film is not only full of those 80s references, but it's full of references from the 90s, the 2000s, and even the 2010s somewhat. And many people are really worried that all the pop culture references, which by the way, there are a lot of them. But people are worried about the possibility of the pop culture references getting in the way of a good story, which I can tell you guys right now, it didn't get in the way for me whatsoever. And yes, while there are a lot of pop culture references, and there was a couple of them that made me geek out so much. One, I think I was the only person that caught this reference. I mean, sure, while there are a couple of references that maybe scream, look at me, look at me, look at me, notice me, notice me. And while some of the references that are like that are very good, there is not a single reference that stands in the way from Spielberg telling the story. And speaking of pop culture references, there is a sequence that takes place in the second act. I, I cannot tell you guys how much I was geeking out. This sequence put me in so much joy, but to anybody who has spoiled the sequence online, shame on you. And another thing about Ready Player One that had me in such joy were the action sequences. The action in this movie, it's just, when it comes to Steven Spielberg, do you really expect anything less than a pure spectacle when it comes to his action sequences? Spielberg proves once again that this man is the master at helming action sequences. There wasn't a single part in this movie that didn't have me at least smiling or just in pure joy. But then the action, the third act, I cannot tell you guys, purely like this this huge action that was going on just had me in pure delight the entire time. And yes, the pop culture references in this scene, oh, everyone in the room was geeking out. And another thing I loved about Ready Player One was that both worlds, the real world and the video game world were both absorbing. The video game world reminded me so much of Bully Wonk and mainly because of the imagination that happens in this world. And the real world reminded me a lot of Minority Report, which is actually in my top five Spielberg films. And both of these combined just never bored me whatsoever. And the visual effects, oh my God, the visual effects in this movie were just insane. I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna complain that the visual effects weren't amazing in the video game world, but when it comes to a video game world, 
I don't expect lifelike graphics. Like I'm just, I'm expecting graphics I would see from a video game world, and I thought that the graphics of the video game world fit perfectly. Another thing I absolutely loved about Ready Player One was not only the score by Alan Tavescher, which I think is one of his best scores in a long time, and it didn't hit me until just this morning, but apparently this is the first time that Alan Tavescher and Spielberg have worked together on a film. Knowing that this was the first time that Alan Tavescher and Spielberg had collaborated together on a film, that blows my mind. And not to mention the soundtrack to this film. For all of you 80s fans, including myself, I feel like you 80s fans are going to love the soundtrack. I know one particular friend of mine is going to lose his mind when he hears one song in this film. I just know he will. Gary, I know you will. And another thing is that I feel like that Ready Player One is one of those films that just progressively gets better with each act because the first act had me smiling, the second act had me geeking out, and the third act hit me so hard that I'm not going to lie to you guys, there was a particular moment in the third act that felt like pure Spielbergian joy. This moment was just so pure Spielberg that I ended up tearing up. It was just such a beautiful moment in this film that I was glad was in this film. And I think the best thing about this film is that it has huge replay value. I know, I had to make that pun, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now in terms of cons, I do have one nitpick. It doesn't really take away from the film score, but I do still have to mention it. There's an actress that plays a henchman for Ben Mendelsohn, and while this actress isn't particularly bad, she was really good either. I feel like that she still was the weakest link in the film because I didn't really quite buy her as a bad guy, but nonetheless, it didn't bother me. <laughs> Overall guys, Ready Player One was exactly the film I wanted it to be. It was a classic Spielberg adventure brought into modern times, or at least that's how I felt about it. I feel like that any person of the 80s generation, the 90s, the 2000s, or even the 2010s, I feel like that any generation honestly will either like or even love this film. This film not only spoke to me as a gamer, not only as a film fan, but also as a Steven Spielberg film, and it reminded me of why I love Spielberg's films in the first place. So yeah, if you guys couldn't guess already, Ready Player One is one of my favorite films of the year, and of course, I'm gonna give this film a five out of five. I mean, did you guys expect anything lower than that? All right, guys, so comment down and let me know below, what is your favorite Steven Spielberg film of all time? Mine, Jaws, but for yours, let me know below. If you guys wanna follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and I'm also on Snapchat, so if you guys wanna follow me on all those social media, platforms all the links and the usernames are in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed my review of ready player one if so please hit that like button share and subscribe to see more reviews just like this one if you guys want to see my review of pacific rim uprising please click right here and if you guys want to see my review of demon house please click right here and of course as always until the next review i will see you guys next time